My name is John Gaventa from the Institute of Development Studies. There's been a lot of discussion at this conference over the last day or two about the, the rise of Trumpism, say, in the United States. And it took me back to work I did many years ago in an Appalachian Valley, um, which culminated in a book called Power and Powerlessness in an Appalachian Valley. And if you go back to that valley, it's quite interesting. It's an area, a former mining valley, that when I was there many years ago was democratic and union-led, but which 80% of whom voted for Trump in the last elections. And this, this was common throughout rural America, and it's led to a lot of literature on, on, on why did poor, often white, working-class communities vote for Trump. But I think it actually, um, risk losing another important point. I know in those same communities, even though in presidential elections we could draw one conclusion from the political expression, in those same communities there's a lot of alternative organizing and resistance, which still remains relatively invisible to the wider world. So in the particular valley that I worked in, um, on the Kentucky side, a very strong grassroots organization has emerged that's become now a statewide organization. The same thing on the Tennessee side. There are experiments in trying to create different forms of owner land ownership. People have been thinking about how do you develop post-coal economies. There are women's-led local projects. So I think when we talk about the theme of this conference, of the rise of what we're calling authoritarian populism, we also have to realize that side by side oftentimes sits small-scale resistance, alternative organizing projects, and in difficult times, in times of, of closing spaces, it's really those small alternatives that are most important. And I think our challenge is how to look at those small alternatives that people are creating in the spaces that they have to see how they're prefiguring new ideas for what a new economy or a different kind of politics could be, to see how they're building new forms of democratic leadership and new alliances.